the Jouchin Chows, that's uh, Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Insurgents Metroid Run Challenge. In our last episode, we made it right here to Settlement Juliet. And, well, let's just say um, Professor Maple's going a bit loopy about the um, legendary Delta Pokemon. But he's asked us to join him in the... A uh, hollow volcano. So let's go and see what is going on. I need to put my repels on, don't I? As much as I would love to catch a Diane, say that is not a thing I can do. Although I do love Diane, say it's one of my favorite. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, legendary Pokemon. Like it's such a good draft league Pokemon, and its mega is amazing. I have no idea where I'm going in here, though. That's the thing. I know I, I know I need to come in here, but I have no idea where to go in here. And if I avoid trainers, basically I'll face them on the way out. Or face them off screen. There'll be a way where I will face them. Because I'm not... I'm trying not to deal with as many trainers, because I know that trainers basically take up time. And now we have... I really don't like doing timed events without time especially when I forgot to set my timer in today's episode god damn it Joe I mean what am I at now about two minutes into the episode so so I said 23 minute timer hey Google set a 23 minute timer sure 23 minutes starting now there you go I set a timer. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what am I, two minutes into the episode? So, yeah, 23 minute. 23 minute timer. I'm trying I'm trying out this new thing. It says Mega Charizard X, by the way. Basically, I'm trying out this new thing where I try and do timers. It's, it's iffy. It's iffy, but it's working. And I'm trying to get it right. So, with that in mind, I want... You know, because a lot of people say I take too long in my episodes and my episodes need to be shortened. And so I'm trying to find a way that I can shorten my episodes but still give you guys the content you deserve without suffering the penalties of, you know, me shortening my episodes. So if I can find my way around these places by a super speed buttons and stuff like that, and timers and stuff like that so I know that I need to get stuff done and I don't have time to, you know, not get stuff done then basically I will get stuff done hopefully and not just meander around and attempt to find things because I'm not very good at finding things you know that about me so hopefully that will work for us uh, today, you know what, I want to start asking I want to start, I mean, with Sword and Shield, I wanted to start asking questions of the day. And I feel like it's about, I feel like with 2019 uh, about to be, no, almost, it's almost over now. 2019 is almost over. I cannot believe that, honestly. This year has gone by so quickly. Honestly, it has. It has been the quickest I probably, it's felt like it's the quickest year on YouTube. I mean, obviously it hasn't. I have no idea how to do these things, so I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> but, yeah. That's a thing. No Relic Song place, probably. Uh, I mean, obviously, this hasn't been the quickest year on YouTube. But, like, it's just... It's felt quick. It's felt very quick. And that's the thing. Time is... The, time is uh, how you perceive time to be. And if you perceive time to be quick, then, well, time is quick. And I've, I've sort of felt like this year has been quite quick. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's felt, it's felt quick. It's very much felt quick. Can I go down? No, I can't. Can I go up here? And up here. 
And up here, there's an ent there's an exit to the ca there's another entrance to the cave. Where am I going? So yeah, with time being as quick as it is, I want to start going back to things like bringing back in question of the day and all that stuff, and maybe. Maybe it will help. That's a relic song thing. If I had relics, if I had a Delta Malawetta, I would use all these relic song things. I mean, I may try and hunt one off off screen because I can probably like, if I took, if I put the time in, I could probably find any Pokemon I wanted to in this series because, well, basically, it's a randomizer. They'll turn up eventually. If I put the time in, every Pokemon will turn up eventually. It's a randomizer. That's how randomizers work. Oh, hello. Uh, thanks for coming, Joe. You've arrived just in time. People have seen both Registeels uh, and it's both Registeel and its Delta counterpart all over the mountain. We've done some calculations they should be passing by a, a any moment now professor pine was kind enough to let me borrow the uh, uh, last few master balls to catch them really why did you let him do that professor pine why did you let him do that wait what you told me you were going to use them for a drinking game Pine, shush. They're coming by now. Gotcha. What, you just literally chucked it at him whilst he was running past? You chucked it at him whilst he was running past, trying to make a get- uh, trying to chase after Reggie Steel. And you just chucked it at him. That's- I mean, sure, exploit their vulnerabilities, but still. Wow. That's- that's absurd. That's absolutely easy and um, that was easy and anti-climatic. Master Balls really do take all the fun and excitement over catching a Pokemon away, don't they? It's a wonder why they exist at all. Maple, this is absolutely foolhardy. This is a legendary Pokemon type of a t the type of Pokemon that controls the ecosystem, weather, time, space. Not only should you, not anyone own these Pokemon that power, but who knows what kind of impact it should have on a species. Uh, this important species has on the ecosystem. You're absolutely right, Pine. I promise when we're done here researching, I'll release it. But I only want the best for everyone. Fine, whatever. You better follow through on that or I'll be... I'll... I'll really have your tenure revoked. Oh, sh she can cut my tenure if she wants. I'm the owner of the universe. Let's see. Nobody can cut my tenure if I own the world. <laughs> it's so incredible to think that I am holding a legendary Pokemon. Hmm, a superior Delta legendary Pokemon. Joe, I really believe in this, uh, these Delta, uh, in these Deltas. These are the future. Incredible Pokemon with different types. I'll release it eventually, of course. But I am going to catch all three of these trio for research purposes. Yes, research purposes. You said you found Reggie Ice and its counterpart in the underneath of the lake. Don't try and stop me, Joe. Or do try and stop me. <laughs> to the underneath of the lake. You can't stop the tide of Delta species. Pun intended. All right. He's gone crazy. 
He has officially gone crazy. We need to stop him at all costs. All costs need to be taken to stop this man and anything he tries to do. With this in mind, I don't really have time to be messing around trying to find my exit. Escape rope? I am in a cave. There we go. I wasn't expecting that to work. Alright, let's use the um, Pika Taxi, or the Amolga Taxi, sorry. We need to use the Amolga Taxi, and we need to find the lake. Hold on, lake. Uh, we need to fly to Settlement Oscar then. There we go. Okay, so we're in Settlement Oscar now. Up here, then up the, up the waterfall, and go to the lake. So we need to stop this man at all costs. If we can, that is. I mean, I've only got seven repels, so hopefully he won't be hard to stop. <laughs> That's why I say here, hopefully won't be hard to stop, because I only have seven repels, so... I don't know. There's a entrance to the lake, uh, to the underpath. I don't know if this is the entrance to the underpath, but we'll see. No, no, I want to go in. Up. See, Professor Pine, even your renowned Noivern isn't strong enough to stop me now. The three Delta Legis will belong to me. Soon, incredible, powerful, gwa ha ha ha! No, you can't stop me. You can't stop us. Nothing can match my pure strength of the legendary Pokemon. And now I have uh, even surpassed the original Reggie Trio of all that I have to do is find Delta Reggie Rock and I'll become undefeatable. Heck, I may even find Reggie Gigas just to complete the set, you know. I'm unstoppable. Just try. I don't know what to do. Joe, he's gone power mad. You're the ogre, right? You have experience in this sort of thing. But I'm not sure you can take him on alone. Not when he has so many powerful legendary Delta Pokemon, but... Okay. You're the ogre. I can tell you about this. We didn't come to this region to study deltas. That was all a cover. Although, we are definitely happy to be doing that now. Our organization was sponsored by the second ogre, Jaren. Really? You were sponsored by the traitor? The leader of the Sky Cult? The ultimate bad guy that I had to kick, that I had to destroy in the la uh, destroy last season. This is season two, by the way. You know, before he was the outdated, uh, outed as a cult leader. Oh, before then, before we knew he was bad. His crystal was reacting to something far north at the peak of the mountain, and he wanted us to find it. He said it was something that would make him very powerful beyond his wildest dreams so even you guys are evil even this even the incredible science club has evil intentions everyone in torrent seems to have evil intentions 
After he was outed as the leader of the Sky Cult, we sealed that area off. If that filthy traitor was getting involved, well, we didn't want to let him know. But now, we've seen legendary golems in the region, as well as their Delta counterparts. Well, let's just say, I have a hunch as to what Jeren might have found. If I'm right, hopefully it can help you out. Well, yeah, help you out. You'll have to stop him. This is why I called you here. This is why we called you here. You're the ogre now. So these are the baddies you would defend us against. Listen, if you head to Settlement Juliet, I can call you on the radio. The guards will let you pass the peak. I'll call ahead to tell the guards to let you through. Whatever's up there, it might be our chance of taking Maple down. And I should say, Maple's not as smart as he thinks if he thinks that we uh, don't have Master Balls too. Thanks! Use it. Hopefully that helps. And be careful. As soon as you find uh, what's up there, I'm sure Maple won't be too far behind. You're our best help, Joe. Thanks. I mean, I've got the entire Holon University on my back and the science club and the second Olga Jeren apparently now. Like, everyone wants me to do well? I'm not sure if Jaren wants me to do well. He hates my guts. Like a lot of people do. But, you know, I've made a few, you know, I've made a few enemies in this LP, but I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed my time here in the, um, in the region of Toron. And Holon. Now we got to find a way back to the settlement Oscar. Or, or settlement Alpha, that's also fine too. Because I need to... Uh, well, I need to heal first and then I'll need to talk to you. Hey, mate. To the skies we go! Yes, I would like to land in Settlement Juliet. Thank you. It, it took me a while to, uh, to find the actual right place. Hey. Can I buy some repels from you, please? Because I'm going to need some. Sure, by foot. I'll buy 26. And... Since we're buying things, maybe I can buy a few of these ancient balls? And these delta balls? And that should be it. I think all those things should be useful for uh, catching this delta Pokemon or whatever I'm supposed to be catching without having to use that Master Ball, because I'm not a big fan of using Master Balls. If you know anything about me, you know that I do not like using Nest Balls. You know, the whole legendaries and Nest Balls thing that I tried to do, uh, that I try and do in new po newer Pokemon games. Hint, hint, I will be catching Zacian and Zemazelta in Nest Balls, if I can. I mean, that's what I'll be attempting to do, but, like, I don't know how well it's going to work. But, yeah, legendaries and Nest Balls. I mean, I've done quite well with it so far. I mean, I've got quite a collection on my bank of legendaries in Nest Balls, and I want to continue the whole trend of legendaries in Nest Balls. I have to continue the trend of legendaries in Nest Balls. Literally, it has to happen. So, 
yeah, it's going to happen. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. So, Legendaries in Nest Balls needs to be a thing, is a thing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the fact that basically, well, I'm catching a... I'm going to catch Sassian and Zemma Zelta in, Le in Nest Balls in the LP if I have the opportunity to. If I have the opportunity to catch those Legendary Pokemon as part of the main story of the game, I will probably put them in Nest Balls if I have the opportunity to. But if I don't, I'm not going to... Just, uh, I will throw a Master Ball uh, just to get it done. But, like, I, if I have the choice... And usually Pokemon games, when they, when they take you up against a Legendary Pokemon, they usually give you the choice. So... With that in mind, I should have the choice to basically do that again. Hopefully. I say hopefully, I don't really know. Ooh, what's this all about? It's a legendary monof. It's an ancient monof. Perhaps long ago, it was some sort of puzzle that had faded away, but it has faded away. Okay. I mean, I'm going to leave it alone for the moment in time, but I guess maybe I'll come back to it and find out what the hell it is. Maybe it might be something that helps me out catch Pokemon. My repel's worn off. What's... There's a... Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Well, that's a Reggie sound. I'm not sure which Reggie, but that's a Reggie sound. I know that cry off by heart. Gigas? That's... That's Reggie Gigas. I mean... Okay. Which turns into Groudon! Primal Groudon! I mean, I gotta catch this. If I can, that is. Uh, glare it. I knew I kept Glare on this moveset for a reason. Now Mega and Crunch it. Don't kill it. I know you're four levels ahead of it, but don't kill it. That's the whole point I'm trying to get out of here. Please do not kill it. Okay, how much is a Crunch? Oh, Crunch is doing literally nothing. How much is a Hammer Arm doing? A lot. It's not killing, though. I'm still fine. I'm still fine. Crunch it again. Eruption. That's not killing, but I probably should be healing. <laughs> yeah, probably should be healing. Fisher, well, you can't fisher me. I'm, th I'm, uh, I'm levels ahead of you. Eruption is going to take me down to where without the hammer arm. Okay, that's fine. One more crunch will take you into the red. Hopefully, don't kill it. 
Alright, time to throw balls. Hey Google, stop. I know it's been time, but like... Uh, let's see... I mean, Ancient Ball, go! Helps with legendary and mystical Pokemon. And we ride! <gasps> Groudon, the continental Pokemon. Groudon has an appreciated in, is appreciated in myth uh, mythologies as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground as it is to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. What do I call you? What do I call you? I call you Big Show. Well, it's the Big Show! Yes, it's the Big Show. Would you like to access and put Reggie Gigas in the party? No. No, I would not. Well, I'm going to save it right here. Or not. I should have done the saving. I should have done the saving. Screw it. We're going longer. Screw it. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. If we've got 27 minutes, we can keep going. We can beat this guy. I see I'm too late. I was hoping to complete my entire collection. But I guess it's worthless. Reggie Gigas isn't a Delta species at all. It, is a va it was a valiant attempt, Joe, I'll give you that. But Delta species are, way, are the way of the future. Even if you have Reggie Gigas on your side, you can't stop me. No one can stop me. I've come too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you down now. Even you, the Olga, doesn't stand a chance against me. Not anymore. Not even with Reggie Gigas on your side. Let me show you now, Joe. Let me show you my incredible power. Mad Professor Maple sends out a Charizard. Level 98. Okay, it's Mega X. It's Mega X. It's Mega X. It's Mega X. I haven't Mega Evolved yet. I'm faster than you. I can live that for some Dragon type. Um... If I already am faster than you, and I have a Dragon Dance up, is this going to help me? Come on, I know I'm two levels behind this, but, you know, let's see what Dragon Dance Boosted Outrage does when I'm Mega, when I'm a Mega Pidgeot, a Mega Delta Pidgeot. Oh, it's a one-shot. Beautiful. Thanks, Weedabix. Scraggy. Oh, come on! Seriously? A revive? And a full restore. Wow. 
I mean, I'm coming through again with the outrage. Still coming through with the outrage, but... I think I'm going to have to... Yeah. Let me get out of here. Let me heal. Let me get out of here. Let me heal up with the Bix and... Uh, focus Punch. Okay, I'm okay. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it might. It would have done a lot of damage to uh, Pidgeot, but didn't do a lot of damage to me. Let me let me heal let me heal up Pidgeot. Uh, let me heal up Pidgeot. Okay, it's it's it does decent damage, but it's not going to kill me. And now you can die. Now you'd be an idiot to go back into your... Yeah. I knew you would. I knew you wouldn't do that. You'd be an idiot to go back into your... Um, uh, your Delta with me... Uh, with uh, Rose Raid on the pitch. Flamethrower from Wet Lights. That should kill. I mean, it is four times effective. I know it's two levels ahead of me, but it should kill. It does kill. Uh, Mistrevious. Are you the Ice Fairy one? I need to find out. You are the Ghost one. Okay. Then I want to go into Jaws then. Which Jaws can handle a Shadow Ball, I think. Yeah. And then Crunch. That should take him down rather e that should take down Mistrevious rather easily. And boom. Alright, cool. Charizard, that's the that's the same one as before. That's the mega. And that's why I needed Weedabix in the first place, so. He's going to have to Mega Evolve again, so I guess we can use this opportunity to get up a Dragon Dance. Oh, wait. He can't Mega Evolve again. I totally forgot. He can't Mega Evolve again. You can only Mega once in a battle. So even if he did bring it back, he'd have, he couldn't Mega. So it's, it was a total fruitless effort for him to bring it back. It was a horrible... It was a nice idea, but, like, it was totally fruitless. And that's, that's Shift Tree gone. His last Pokemon is a Gotharita, and that's going to be easy as well, because I'm coming through with the Outrage. You're not defensive enough to live... Oh, you are defensive enough to live this. And you are full restoring. God damn it! I mean, Weedabix, please. Thank you. I know I've been intimid I know I've been charmed, but still, it should do a lot of damage. It does. I snapped out of confusion. You're dead this turn. You're dead this turn. There we go. We beat Mad Professor Maple. What? No. Impossible. But, uh, but, but how? That's impossible. My Delta Pokemon are superior. Unbeatable. You must have cheated. Sabotaged me. Cheating is an academic offense worthy of expulsion. Never mind that. I'll bide my time for now. I'll... It's over, Professor Maple. You lost. Just give up. You can't arrest me. I'm the leading researcher of Holland University. I've won many awards. I've captured legendary Pokemon. I have tenure. Just make it easy on yourself. And come with us, Buster. Let's go. Jeez. 
Listen, Joe. I owe you one. Maybe two. You owe me a lot. Like, you better give me your phone number, Professor Pine, because, like, you owe me a lot. Like, we're talking fancy dinners, hotel rooms, lots of other stuff that shouldn't be repeated. But again, man, my channel's not for kids, so I can say it all. <laughs> I can't really repay all you've done for Holland, uh, helping us with our resources, exploring the region and stopping Professor Maple. Listen, I'm sure you know about the poker ball, my Pokeball inventions. It's not much, but maybe this can help you out. Ancient balls, thank you. As the strong... As strong as... An ancient ball is as strong as an ultra ball, but if you use it on legendary Pokemon, it, it has many times the catch rate. Thank you again. The idea of such a young old weirded me out at first, but you know, anyone is as worthy. Anyone is worthy of that position. If anyone's worthy of that position, it's you. Hopefully, you don't turn out to be a traitor too. <laughs> I I mean I hopefully won't, but okay. I mean it's nice you still kind of don't trust me. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't trust me either. But anyway, this is where I'm going to leave off for today's episode. We've gone about 35 minutes, so it's about time I left off. We've gone over a time limit, to tell you the truth, but uh, it was important. It was a thing. I'm not sure what the next episode is. I, I don't really know what to do next. That's the thing now. It's just like, what do I do now? Now I'll have to look at my guides and see what the next thing to do is. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to let Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon Sword and Shield. Legally. And until next time, I'm out. See you again! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.